So there's nothing too fancy with the design of the box. As you can see it is the GT640 and it has one gig of RAM. Opted for the one gig version because well, there's not really much point at the two gig. Especially for the, uh, I suppose what you could call the lower mid-range cards, which are sort of barely suitable for gaming. Maybe running gaming at a sort of slightly lower resolution, slightly less effects than you would say at a 650, 660, etc. But then you've got your price difference, of course. So it is the lowest in the range of the NVIDIA Kepler series GPUs, because the 6. 10, 20 and 30 are just rebadged versions of 5 series Fermi processors. Now the Kepler series offers you 28 nanometer fabrication, so that's slightly lower power usage for the CPU output. Now reading about it, I think it's 384 cores running at 900 megahertz, compatible with DirectX 11 and OpenGL 4.2. So I'll open it up and take a look at it. If you're trying to use this card in Linux, in say Ubuntu 12.04 or below, it will not work properly. You have to upgrade the kernel and NVIDIA drivers. Well, I've got videos on how to do that. So, I've got the label there saying caution, electrostatic sensitive device. Indeed it is. So I'm just going to be careful and hold the bracket. So you can see it is the low profile card. In the box you have the CD driver disk and instruction manual. Now what it doesn't come with is a low profile bracket. I've had this open already and tried it out. What I have had to do is purchase a small low profile bracket from a shop on eBay. Now, I held it up earlier and it does look like it will fit. So I'll fit that in a moment and show you what it looks like at the end. Anyway, look at the outside of the card here, so I've got a protective plastic case over it. The fan and it looks like a glossy back under the protective clear plastic. You can see yeah, it got a glossy finish under there. Just looking at the back, well, nothing too special there, you just got the circuit board, the PCIe X16 slot, I believe it's, it's PCI Express 3, but it is backwardly compatible with so I express two. And there's the front of it there. Well, here it is installed in the case. Now I could only use one of the brackets there because if I use the next one, it means the VGA plug would have conflicted with the plastic cover, and that would have been no good. However, I did manage to bolt it in one little screw down there just to hold the cover in place. Fortunately, on this case, there's a VGA port just at the side here. There's a cutout for a VGA port just at the side here. Not that I'm ever going to use VGA anyway, so I could have actually left it dangling inside the case, but hey. But hey, for the sake of neatness in here, we could get it nice and tidy. So there it is, we're just looking down on the case. And there it is, it. not much more to say about that. It, um, I'll show you a more complete view of this in a later video. I'll show you a bit of a movie playing in XBMC. Now this is built on Ubuntu 12.04. As I mentioned earlier, I've had to update the kernel and NVIDIA graphics card. Now you see Dolby True HD there. So I play it, yeah, just resume. See the picture there, looks absolutely fine. Not sure how it will come out on the video though. Just giving ahead a bit there. Yep, absolutely crystal clear. Now if we look down at the amplifier, I'll just zoom in on that. You can see True HD. There you go, True HD output in Linux, in XBMC. So that was the Palette NVIDIA GT640, which I bought from eBuyer. So thanks for watching, see you later.